Okay, testing one, two, three. <laughs> So hey guys, it's Jamie here. I have the best video. It's life-changing for me and I'm not kidding. So it's all about my hair. Um, let me just tell you, for since seventh grade, and I'm 36 years old right now, uh, so decades, which is crazy, I've been straightening my hair and like fighting with my hair and being mad at my hair. So I figured out the, the best way to do my hair ever. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just this smart and it has saved me so much time. It literally takes me like 15 minutes to do my hair now. And I like it even more than when I used to strain it for like an hour and a half. So I don't know, I just love it. So I really wanted to share it with you guys. So it's super easy. And the way I kind of thought of it was, I was, I got my hair last year, I got it like balayaged and they straightened it and then they waved it. And when I came home, I loved the wave. And I wanted to do my hair like that again, but I was like, this is so ridiculous that I have to straighten and then wave it. And you would think with having curly hair that I'd be a step closer than straight hair to waving it. So I just kind of played around with a few things and found out that I could wave my hair from curly and it is amazing and saves me so much time. Like years of my life have I've gotten back. And especially having kids, like I don't have time to straighten it like that anymore. So I already took a shower. I washed my hair. I don't shampoo all the time, only occasionally now because my hair is very dry. And I've been using this Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla. It's this um, hydrating conditioner. It's really good. I just finished up my other Carol's Daughter. It was the Minoy oil one. I don't know. I pretty much just like Carol's Daughter whatever conditioner they have out. I find it really good. And it's not like so many strong chemicals, so I like it. So what I do is just I wash it. And then, this is the best part, I never blow dry anymore unless I'm like in a rush or something, but usually not. So I just let it air dry. So it's a little drier than I normally put the products in. Usually just on damp hair, you can put your products in. And I don't use many products and you can really use whatever products you have, but I always use this, it's like an argan oil. It, there's nothing special about this one. I just found it one day and I've been using it for probably years. So I put a little bit on my fingers here so you can see or not see. And I just kind of like put it all in. It's There's no science to this, <laughs> um, but you don't want to make it too greasy. So you can section your hair too, but um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't know. It's kind of what I'm in the mood for. So I have this I think I got it in some type of box or something. It's a 12-in-1 Amazing Leave-In Treatment. It also is a heat protector, so make sure you use a heat protector because we're gonna be using a lot of heat. Um, it says a pea size drop, so I kind of double it because I have thick hair. Hello, blurry. And then this I get like towards the ends of my hair. I do this fast. I don't have like so much all the time in the world. So you might be like, you should suction it. Well, I don't have time for that. The best thing now is I'm gonna go clean the house, which is not so great, but it gives me time to do that because I just let it air dry until it's dry. So I have to clean the house. I don't wanna clean the house, but I have to. So it's like the perfect time to do stuff like that because it's a two in one thing where you're drying your hair and you're cleaning the house. So you're getting a lot done. So perfect time saver. And also with the blow dryer, I mean, it's hot. It was my least favorite part of straightening my hair. You can't even watch YouTube videos or anything because the blow dryer is so loud. And then you take the big round brush and blow dry. It's like so exhausting. I'm just gonna go and do my cleaning and then I'll come back and show you exactly how to do this amazing life-changing hairdo. So. See you soon. So I just wanted to show you some progress on my hair. I've been cleaning away like a crazy person and you can see it's like bigger now so it's starting to dry. This is funny when I was looking at the footage from earlier I thought I bet people might think my hair is dry there and be like your hair looks great what are you talking about so it gets bigger and bigger as it dries so now it's at this point it's still damp so it's going to continue to enlarge and I actually at this point usually brush through it. I know it's gonna kill some of you who wear your hair curly, but that's what I do. So <laughs> take my brush that I've had forever and just any brush. So I brush through it because there's some parts that are a little damp and I think this helps it dry faster once I do this and you have to do it anyway. So I don't know, um, you guys are probably pretty gentle with your hair. Sometimes this gets a little rough. <laughs> 
I know this kills people. <laughs> like, wear it curly and don't crush it. No, I can't do that. I actually was at this point the other day when I went to Target, and so I it was like this. So I put it up in a bun, and I went to Target to get a couple things, and I went to redo my bun like right before I got out of the car to go into Target, and the ponytail holder breaks. It's like what you never want to happen. So I get it kind of brushed out, and I see some parts like I like to put a little more argan oil in it at this point so kind of grab it I just pump a couple pumps in and then get like the ends and the front mostly and then always the back right here I like to press down and then you know whatever just kind of get it all argan oiled up oh you know what it's thumbnail time <laughs> and then I'll see you guys soon when it's totally dry back to the dishes I go Okay, so now it's totally dry and it's time to style. So what I do is I section it off for this part. So let me just do this quickly. You can section it however you want to, of course, but I like to do a top bun here and I just kind of tie this one. And then I have a huge middle section right here so i like to get that one out of the way too so i kind of tie it up like this Doo -doo -doo. and you can just take like a broken claw clip and just kind of clip it like me now you have this to deal with and before you start if you want to take a couple more leave-in products now that it's all separated out and dry you can kind of you know moisturize the crap out of it. This is the new me flat iron. I got this so long ago and I love it. I got it at the same time as I got my GHD. I bought the GHD. It was very expensive and then I got this one sent to me which is this new me one. Love it. I use it all the time even though somebody when I first showed it was like you're you are such a sellout. I was like no literally I love this. What, okay so a lot of people are not gonna like this but this is not a heatless tutorial, so um, you have to kind of make it a little hotter because you're going through like hot, like not hot, you're going through like super coarse hair, if you are. So I put mine at 410, sometimes I do 390 just depending. It's hot, but you know I don't use my blow dryer and I used to use a flat iron anyway, so it's not really like I'm using much more heat if any at all. It's actually less because I'm not doing blow, the blow dryer. Okay, so the reason this works is because this flat iron is really good. You can set the high temperature if you need it. And if you were just to take a curling iron and do what I'm about to do, and you have curly hair like me, it's not going to like, it'll, you know, help some of the frizz a little bit, but not like how a straight iron would. So this is kind of like, it helps straighten it out, flatten it, get rid of some of the frizziness, and then it gives a wave. And the great thing is, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just wavy, messy hair. So if you have, you know, when you're straightening your hair, you you just like, it has to be like perfect, all these little straight pieces. And if you have curly randomly in there, it doesn't look right. So this is like perfect for lazy. So really all you do is you take a piece, kind of brush it out. You can use a comb if you're a little more professional. And then you take your iron. So get the roots, you know, get the roots a couple times like this and then go like this. So so you kind of like flat it, flattened it out a little, which you don't have to do that first thing. The first few times I did this, I only was doing um, the roots and then I went right into it. So make a standard wave in your hair like this. I'm gonna show you a couple different things. Okay, so you just go down like this. I'm going to show you this actually um, if I were to just go through it. So I do the, do the roots because you want to smooth out the roots. That's important. And then if you want, this saves time and damage. Just go through like this. You don't even have to like straighten it first. It looks fine. See? It's like fine. Some of these front pieces I won't grab as thick because it's the front. You kind of want it to look good. So take it. You just flip it. And down. 
that can go up there <laughs> it's fine you just kind of balance it up there for a while okay i'm gonna finish this bottom layer because apparently my battery on my camera needs to be charged okay so i finished this um this is the bottom section and that middle one i just did it because i hate that section it's like pointless so I did it so fast and I wanted the battery to charge on the camera that I just started cleaning some more and then I got all hot and I was like, I just need to go back to the video. So I'm going to try to wrap it up quickly, but that's just how fast it is. Like it frees up so much time to clean. Woohoo! But that's how you know you've entered lame city, which is lame in itself to say. So then, you know, my products I don't typically care too much what I use as long as it's like an argan oil and then some kind of leave-in conditioner, heat protectant. So whatever for that, but I love this product. I've been using it for four years and I still have it and I know I should replace, but I'm just not the type of person that goes around replacing everything like at a certain time frame. I just keep using it because you save money that way. So I got this at a salon one time and it's um, TG Hair Reborn Restorative Illumin Oil. It smooths, it adds shine. I just love it. So after I finish a section, I like to squeeze some on my fingertips and whatever amount you want and just kind of rub it and then kind of do this. And it just kind of tames everything and adds a shine. It smooths it all out. I just love it. So that's one of like my holy grail products really because I love it. This is how I do my hair. This piece is like close up so you can really see. So you take it, okay? And you smooth this out, okay? Take your iron, flip it this way, okay? Move the hair this way, and then go down that way, okay? You can flip it again if you desire to add an extra wave. So see, it just goes right through. You flip it this way, and then you flip it this way, okay? And then you can kind of turn it like that. If this is like too much curl on top, which it kind of is for me, you can just kind of like flatten. Okay, so that's a little more calmed down. You can, you know, do it how you need to do it. I just finished all of the ironing part and I'm just gonna show you what I do now which is nothing complicated but I just kind of do this and do my part how I want it again because I just start throwing hair over like as I'm doing the ironing so here it is right here it's so cute isn't it okay so I take my um, shining stuff and I like to put this in like at the front here at the roots like kind of back part you can take a little towards the ends um and then like this front i like to smooth like this and here you go and this is it here's a close-up look if you need and you know you can kind of you know take out some of the curl if you want by running your fingers through i don't really brush through it much just because since it hasn't been straightened you don't want to get too much of like a frizzy thing happening. So I would just leave it. I can go to sleep and then I wake up and the curls kind of fall. So it's like even, you know, this. So I get different looks out of it. It's, you know, great. You know, I get my money's worth. I get this look. I get a smoother look. So here it is. I hope you like this video. I have been wanting to do this video for you guys just because I know it's going to help a lot of you out. A lot of you still comment about when I was straightening my hair in that video and some of you have said that that really helped you, so I can't even imagine what you're going to do with this video. Thank you. Make sure you follow me. All my links will be below. Don't forget to follow the podcast from me and Sean, and we do some really cool stuff on there, so definitely check it out. Follow my Instagram, and, you know, I'll see you guys around. Bye.